Hello, this is Dave from Retired Time Productions, and just a quick announcement. I got in the Flight Test Night Radiant from Horizon Hobby, and it's got a full set of addressable LEDs on it that make it a lot of fun. So let's just take a look at the LEDs real quick. There's actually a switch right here, and you flip that switch, and the lights come on. Okay? Now there's also lights on the wing, and as you can see, there's lights on the tail. And there's all kinds of patterns. There's three buttons on this thing, three in a row. And button number one makes it go forward in the pattern selection. Button number three makes it go backward in the pattern selection. And the middle one changes the speed. So I've got a battery hooked up right here. It's a three cell type setup on this plane. And I've got the plug and play version instead of the bind and fly. So I don't have the AS3X technology, which is the safe technology. I don't have that, but it has nothing to do with the lights. You can't control the lights from the ground. Even if you have the safe technology, you cannot control the lights from your radio. So inside the hatch, beside the servos, is a little block. And this is actually the LED connector block. It's just a flat circuit board and it parallels all of the strips of lights together. So each strip, whether it's in the fuselage or on the wing, will show the same pattern. So the FT Night Flying Radiant Glider 2 meters is available on Horizon Hobby and the plug and play version was $179. This is one of the wings right here and you can see it has the flight test logo with the Gremlin on there. Also has Horizon. So it's decaled out to give it that flight test appeal. It has lights here at the wing tips as well as full lighting on the bottom, a full strip of addressable LEDs. And if you look at the top right here, it does have one of these EC3 plugs. I think I'm going to change that out for an XT60. And then it has like a little door on the bottom here, magnetic hatch you can open up to get to your servos right there. And this three button board has a button to go forward in the selections and I think there's a there's a hundred or so different patterns in this thing so button number one goes through those patterns in the forward direction and then you can back up with button three right here go backwards in the patterns and then the middle button just simply changes the speed you can see it pick up in the speed right there and now it's at the slowest speed, a little faster, a little faster, a little faster. And you get the speed that you want. And there's a really substantial spar that goes right through here. It's really strong. And uh, just a couple of screws to hold the wings on, and you're ready to roll. Now it takes a 2200 milliamp hour battery tops, they say. I have seen some people say they can put a 3000 milliamp hour three cell in there, but 2200 should give you plenty of flight time. And the ESC is right down in here. And then your receiver has to mount in here whatever receiver you're going to put in it, unless you've got the bind and fly model which comes with the AS3X receiver. Okay, so there's over a hundred patterns. I don't want to go through them all, but I just thought I'd give you a show there, just a little bit of a show. Now in my next video I'll go over the specifications and the assembly of the plane, putting all the parts together. And then I'm going to give you two important build tips that will keep you from crashing. So stay tuned for that. So don't forget to subscribe and click the notify bell icon and go in there and click that checkbox to get notifications so you'll get a message when my next video comes up. Okay, see you next time.